Hey guys, I'm Kim from 70,000 Tons of Metal, the original, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise. This week on 70,000tons.tv, we look at some of the recreational facilities aboard the ship. We also go to San Jose, Costa Rica, where our lucky survivor Alejandro gets to interview Dark Tranquility for Survivor's Ask. Then the 70,000 Tons of Metal staff at the office read mean comments from the internet. Stay tuned because it's all coming up on this episode of 70,000tons.tv. So you probably think that our boat is just all about metal and partying and drinking and doing stupid shit. Well, it pretty much is, but there's also tons of fun things to do on board. Let's take a look at some of the amenities that our ship has to offer. 70,000 Tons of Metal gives you unrestricted festival access to all 120 live shows on board. 70,000 Tons of Karaoke until sunrise, jamming with waters in international waters, clinics and workshops with the musicians, our infamous belly flop contest, shore excursions with your favorite artists, and much more. Your friends are never going to believe you surfed on board a metal cruise. Even the best beaches have bad days, but on the flow rider, the surf's always up. Known as the Bikini Buster, make sure to wear secure clothing. Challenger's Video Arcade has a classic atmosphere where you'll find plenty of challenges, excitement and fun. The H2O Zone integrates colorful sculptures around a series of sprinklers, jets and water cannons that guests can use to soak each other. In the evening, it transforms into a beautifully lit sculpture garden. Whether you want to beat a hangover or just stay in shape, the complete onboard gym offers cruisers cardio and weight machines to get your heart pumping and muscles moving. The gym includes treadmills, ellipticals, bench presses, free weights, a boxing ring, and more. Staying fit is not limited to being indoors. The sports deck allows for outdoor exercise as well as rock climbing, basketball, volleyball, mini golf, and more. Well, a good way to get high on the ship is the rock climbing wall. With equipment provided, all you need to do is bring a pair of socks and, of course, your sense of adventure. Our full-service spa offers a beauty salon and spa treatments, including massage, manicures, and seaweed body wraps. There are seven hot tubs on the Independence of the Seas. You won't get closer to the action than in the two stage left hot tubs, where you are seated right next to the band. There is also a large hot tub in the middle of the pool deck stage. Two more in the H2O zone and two large cantilevered hot tubs that hang over the sides of the ship for an awesome view. The Baby and Tots Nursery offers parents childcare where children can be left in the trusty and supervision of trained professionals day or night. Babysitters are also available to your stateroom. The solarium is a great place to chill out, with shaded areas, an array of sun loungers, towering palm trees, and a relaxing pool. Seventy thousand tons of metal, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise. Next year's edition sailing from Florida to Turks and Caicos, February first to fifth, twenty eighteen. Now let's go to Costa Rica for Survivor's Ask with Alejandro, where he gets to interview Dark Tranquility with some fan questions from the internet. Hi guys, this is Alejandro from Costa Rica. We are at uh, 70,000tons.tv. Tonight we're interviewing Michael Stan from Dark Tranquility at their show in San Jose. But before that we wanted to show you a little bit of scenery from Costa Rica. Uh, right now we are at the province of Cartago in a place called uh, Mirador Orozzi. And throughout the day we'll be traveling a little bit further down there and see if we can find some nice places to show you. We are actually at the park, Tapentee National Park. We have the river right here behind me. I'm pretty sure you can hear it now. It's very uh, strong current. It offers also walks among the forest and uh, well again as you can see it's very representative, very green, very uh, nature wise. Again if you ever come down here it's uh, very recommended. We'll continue with our journey and uh, we'll see you guys later. Hi guys, uh, we're in Survivor's Ask, uh, 70,000 tons.tv and I'm here with Michael Stan from Dark Tranquilly. We are in San Jose, Costa Rica. 
So, cheers. Uh, cheers. I'm missing a beer, but cheers. <laughs> Second time in Costa Rica, after a long, long time, 12 years. After you guys have been gone from a country for so long, do you have newer expectations or do you pretty much expect what happened last time? Or? I think more than anything, you want to recapture that feeling you had the first time you play in a country, you know, because that's always super special. You know, you see an audience for the first time, people who haven't seen you. Um, so you, you try to kind of recapture that. Sometimes you, you can't do it, but you can probably put on a better show and all that stuff. But it's, uh, well, it's something that I always uh, miss, you know, or that I really look forward to, to just getting to a new country for the first time and get that vibe, you know. Cool. Uh, we have a couple of questions from uh, a few survivors that asked on uh, Facebook. Well, you recently worked with uh, Insomnium. Some of the survivors want to uh, see if there's a chance of you taking the stage with them this uh, coming cruise. That is not impossible at all. Uh, really? We've done it a few times, some festivals where we, uh, you know, crossed paths. We, uh, we toured together, so we did it a few times then. So, yeah, I wouldn't rule that out at all. All right, cool. That's good to know. Yeah. Regarding set list selection, do you follow like a recipe, like saying we have to have five songs from the new album and then two and two and two, or do you go more like gut feeling? It's more of gut feeling. We, we, we try. Like after the re recording of an album, we go like, all right, let's start trying these songs, you know, playing them and, uh, and see what feels good, you know? And so... It's more dynamic? Yeah, I, I think that's easier because you, you get a vibe of, you get a feel if, if it works or not, if you feel comfortable with it, if you feel like you're playing well enough, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, we kind of leave it open and, and we usually kind of have songs prepared so that we could change uh, during a tour. Um, well, you guys are veterans of this uh, festival. You went there as a pioneer yeah. with uh, uh, the first edition, and then you came back in 2014. Yeah. Um, now it's a complete different monster, bigger boat, louder, more fans, more bands. What are you guys looking forward to on that specific? I, I, I want to see the, the, the ship, of course. Okay. I mean, it looks insane. I'm going to get lost <laughs> again and again. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully I get to see all the bands that I want to see, but I, I think um, I'll work out a schedule, you know? Okay. Um, I mean, it's such a unique, cool kind of communal and uh, fan experience. Like, there's nothing like it, so that's what I look forward to most. Like, hang out, drinking beer in the bars, and uh, yeah, there's something special about it, as you know. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? All right. Thank you a lot for your time. Hey, thank you. And, uh, well, I look forward for the show tonight and then for the cruise. Yeah, the next time we meet is um, on the 7th. Uh, well, oh, you'll be shouting at us and then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be good. Cheers. All right, cheers, guys. 70,000 tons of metal. The world's biggest heavy metal cruise. February, you. Together with 60 metal bands and 3,000 of the craziest heavy metal fans from around the world taking over one massive cruise ship. It's like everyone has a backstage pass. Sailing from Florida to Turks and Caicos. February 1st to 5th, 2018. 70,000 tons of metal. Now we go to the 70,000 tons of metal offices where the staff read mean comments from the internet. All right. Hey fuckers, who the hell's playing next voyage? Nobody. Come on, I think you all know how this works by now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. Your mom. The website looks like it was designed in 1999, <laughs> which is, all right. I pose a challenge. Could you find people who sound less interested in the material they're presenting? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, it's totally about you. It's totally about me. I know it. I'm a <laughs> I talk with a monotonous voice. That's just how I am. I'm sorry. Very few non-death or growly thrash bands. Reality check. This is not Barge to Hell tour. Reality check. This is not Death Metal Festival. Keep it up, and I am sitting this one out. Only two bands are to my liking so far. Rhapsody, Sonata Arctica, and In Extremo. That's three bands. That's a crappy average. Hope there will be actually good bands. What? <laughs> this seems more of a survival test than a cruise, LMAO. 
too much money though and seems like it's a sausage fest where the only women just want to be groupies for the bands on board. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of smelly ass metal fucks. I don't smell bad. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Is the cameraman a professional? It move. I'm seasick before be abroad. <laughs> you try drinking for five days straight. Well, you probably have. <laughs> Yeah, the whole uh, look at these sexy girls come on our trip thing is kind of pathetic. Hi. <laughs> Bunch of Satan worshippers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's nice. Right. It's pretty early to get upset, and 70k is about way more than the bands anyway, so whatever. But seriously, Andy. <laughs> Bring Tobias Samet on board or I'm puking in the pool. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, with these 2D fruity fucking bands on broad, there surely won't be a shortage of puke. Just, yeah, don't puke in the hot tub. <laughs> Please. Please, for everybody's sake. Oh my god. Until next time, guys, be sure to share and subscribe. And if you want to stay part of the action, you can always check out our official forum on 70,000tons.com.